It's Jellyfish. And we're in Omsk. 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 Yeah. Alright. <laughs> we're going to Irkutsk. Yeah. So. But it only leaves in three days. So we need to figure out a way to go there. We are really running out of days. It's 80 days. We're, we're halfway. So we really need to hurry up. Sorry, I was just trying to hear something else. Um, so let's see. I guess we can just... We could go to the market. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. We have so many bags. Oh, I forgot. We, we have, like, some really important shit to uh, sell, right? Western Star and... Pyongyang? Pyongyang? But, like, uh... Yeah, this one sells for, like, a crazy amount. Pyongyang, 7,000 dollars. Where, where is this? Well, let's check where that is. Oh, it's here. Oh, that's perfect. I have to figure out a way to get there. We, we can probably do that as we're... Um, while we're traveling. Let's... Um, sleep. We'll pass the night here. We made ourselves comfort <coughs> sorry. <coughs> we made ourselves comfortable for the night and I attended to Missy Fog. Nah. It's been a few hours walking around, yeah. Nah. Eh, okay. Nothing happened, apparently. Oops. That's is it we can wait what? Kabul. No, we don't want to go there. What the hell? Tomorrow, nice. Okay, no, no, no we, we can't pay that much. It's too much, too much. All right, let's uh, just sleep again. It's a bit weird. We just kind of just did that, but whatever. Um. All right, let's uh, attend to him. All right, great. Relations have improved. Passepartout and Sean Connery are, are now best friends. Let's do it. Oh, my open luggage. What does that mean? O open luggage. Oh, right, to to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll, we'll pay for it. It's no problem. Okay, our gentleman's traveler set is helping us. So it's Pyongyang. That's where we want to go. Uh, hello, hello, Urga. I cannot. Okay, we'll just find some information about this. <clears throat> oh, here. Maybe. Pyongyang. Nope. Beijing. Hmm. Oh, I can go to Beijing from there. Do you know the quickest way to Beijing from here is via Urga? Oh. Pyongyang! Yeah! I don't know, but you can pick up handheld mirrors in Pyongyang. Extremely valuable in San Pedro. Okay. Use the vodka. Let's do it. Why? Yes. Pyongyang. Uh, quick switch Pyongyang from here to Beijing. Yeah, okay, we, we already know that. Let's just get some random information, I guess. Pyongyang Izmir? Looking <laughs> for El Dorado, right? Hilarious. That's all, all right. Urga, Beijing. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, that's good. We can go through Beijing. We can go Irkutsk, Beijing, and then. Yeah, I think that will work. The lines are thick here, and other trains pass ours frequently. Some are filled with settlers, and others with soldiers, packing into fifth and sixth class cars so closely that I wonder if I uh, if they can even breathe. I stopped watching. I saw a darker train go past. What's that? I saw a darker train go past. Metal cars with iron gratings that seemed to sh cast shadows as it moved. It was a prison train, uh, bound for nowhere. The criminals aboard were simply carried backwards and forwards across the mountains, always moving, never stopping. What? That's weird. I saw children's faces held up to the light. Really? Prisoners are allowed to take their families with them. Whether that is mercy or a worse punishment for a, for a good conscience, I cannot tell. Hmm. That's creepy. We reached a magnificent 
Angara Valley that holds the mining camp of Irkutsk. We disembarked as per our tickets. We looked through the window, there was nothing like that. Hmm. Let's let's keep going. We hid in the bathroom of our compartment as the ticket inspector came and went. The train began to move and we exhaled a long sigh of relief. An hour later we had reached the magnificent magnificent crystal clear expanse of Lake Baikal. The trek uh, ended at the lake's edge, but the great train mo showed no, s no signs of slowing or stopping. I began to feel, as my master would say, a little perturbed. Now, my friends, the next sentence will seem to you the invention of a madman, but I assure you it is utter unvarnished truth. We drove straight from the shore onto the clear water of the lake, p causing barely a ripple. What? I looked out of the compartment window and saw the wheels pulled up, but zut alors! The train was hovering in the air through some unseen mechanism. Let's look, I looked for the tracks. We stretched our. Oh yeah, I'm gonna look for the tracks. I looked for the tracks and could could only see them uh, against the gleam of the lake. They were cunningly built upon pontoons, ah, which only just broke the surface of the water. That we did not touch them. What sort of train was the Trans Siberian? Oh, it must be like some magnetic thing, right? Let's talk with Father. A cigar, very good indeed. Mm, yes. Oh wait, we were just passing. Through. No. Oh. Oh shit, we may we might have made a mistake here. Well, I mean, I guess this is better because we're getting quicker. We, we're, yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. I hope we can get to uh, to Pyongyang from here. Uh, from the window, I watched the families working at the fields, dressed in colors bright as harlequins, harlequins, red and blue bodices and bright bandanas, which they pulled uh, off to wave at the train. People are strange. People are wonderful. Ah, wonderful. They live somewhere bleak, and they make themselves colors and s make themselves colorful instead. Hmm. True. It's very nice. Uh, there is little to report of the outside world, so a word today on Russian eating habits. More specifically, the Russian distaste for regular meal times. I met a fellow Frenchman today who said to me, "The Russian meal is a guide to the Russian character." I begged him to explain further. Hmm. And he obliged me. The guiding principle of the nation cuisine is that all dishes must be capable of uh, being served at any time the eater feels disposed. He sacrifices his finest sus susceptibilities to his love of freedom. Freedom. I resolved to keep this thought in mind on future approaches to the dining car. If our locomotive suppers were not are not triumphs of culinary art, they are at least signal examples of logistical achievement. Okay. Well, we've gotten pretty far. Karamskaya, cool. Uh, we pulled into Karamskaya in the evening. From Karamskaya, it was possible to branch to, onto the Chinese Eastern uh, Railway to Beijing. The ticket inspectors uh, made more thorough examinations here, so we disembarked onto the platform. Uh, it's hurry to find lodgings. Knowing that once the evening fell, it would become bitterly, miserably cold. Yeah, I don't want to sleep on the street, to be honest. Oh, is that Pyongyang? Yes! Perfect. Some of our possessions should be quite valuable here. Oh, yeah? Iron ore. Huh. Let's see, what... What, what is so... Useful here, or... Oops. No, what? God damn it. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm clicking the wrong buttons, but I can't, like... How do I... Oh, right. Let's see... Brisbane... Scarab... Antalya... I think we've passed Antalya, haven't we? Top hat... Yep. 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 Dalian Karichi. Okay. Why does he keep saying that there's valuable things here when we don't have things that are particularly valuable valuable in this place? It's weird. Oh. Yes. Shit, that is that is really big though. I think we need to just sell a bunch. Oh, we have so much crap like it's crazy. 
We could. Oh, of course. Oh, there we go. Aha. All right. I'm sure this could be useful. Our completed Russian costume should protect against the cold and help us negotiate times of Russian journeys. Mm, yes, yes, money penny. <laughs> Alright. Pyongyang. <gasps> Tomorrow! Nice! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we need to find... <clears throat> we need to find a boat. Yeah, it's like here, I guess. Oh, oh, oh! Airship! Hmm. What is this? Three players. Is this where other players are? Seriously? Holy shit! Yeah, it is! I think this is where other players are. It's where, like... How their progress and how much money they have. Wow, I have more money than all of these bitches. Yeah. <laughs> well, I haven't gone this far yet. Wait, how, and there are there on oh, 47, 47. Oh, they're all all on 47. Wait, day 47 on 90. What? Maybe I'm just wrong about this entire theory. <laughs> all right, let's let's uh, do this. No, uh, we should uh, go sleep then, I guess. There was no new, uh, moon, not blah. there was no moon at Karimskaya, and not even a barking dog marred the silence of the luminous Siberian night. The only lit building bore the copper lily of the Artificers Guild. Oh, let's do it, because <clears throat> we have the scarab, right? Isn't that a thing that helps? With that uh, I knocked on the back door, eager to find company to help pass the long cold night. A dwarf with long black hair, rouged lips, and thick brass goggles opened the door. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna bow and introduce myself. I'm not gonna stare. Uh, introduce myself as a foreigner to Karimskaya, looking for conversation. Welcome. Come in out of the cold, and I'm Nadez Kardabatyevinova. We walked through uh, a squalid corridor into a round room lit with bright electrical lamps. The artificers sprawled on low sofas and greeted me with beery, beery enthusiasm. What does that mean? They've been drinking beer? A human form automaton ushered me to a seat and handed me a drink with mechanical precision. All right, I took it cautiously, accepted my drink with a grin. Uh, yeah, why not? I accepted the drink with a grin, and the small gears in the automaton's face were to produce an answering smile. <laughs> That's cool. The hours passed quickly in good company, and we shared many outlandish tales. I gave them my artificial medallion. Yes, and they all hushed. It seems it seems you have done our guild a service in the past. Not as Nadezda, Nadezda smiled. What can we do for you? Help with my journey. One of their new inventions. Ooh, I need help with my journey actually. And they conferred in Russian for a few minutes before nodding. From Batavia, you can reach Lima in 15 days by submersible to Brisbane and airship from there. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is so useful. This is <laughs> this is exactly what we needed. From Batavia. From Batavia, I have to remember this, I think, because it's not gonna. Okay, so f from Batavia, you can reach Lima. Batavia, Lima, by submersible to Brisbane. And air. Whoa, okay. Batavia, Lima, Brisbane. Batavia, Lima, Brisbane. Alright, I'm gonna try and remember that. My memory is so shit. Batavia, Lima, Brisbane. Wait, what? From Batavia, you can reach Lima in 15 days by submersible to Brit. I don't understand the sentence, it's weird. So are we... We go from Batavia to Lima. <laughs> this is like messing with my mind. From we go from Batavia to Lima, somehow, by whatever means. And then by submersible to Brisbane. Uh, what, from Lima to Brisbane by submersible? Where are we going from airship? W what? That's weird. Okay, fuck it, whatever. I thanked them for their generosity and wended my way back through the dark streets of Karamskaya, a city lit only by the brightness of the stars and the pale ethereal glow of the northern lights. 
Very nice. Batavia, Lima, Brisbane. Batavia, Lima, Brisbane. Batavia, Lima, Brisbane. Oh, okay. Well, it tells me. Well, that's... <laughs> oh, my God. That is... What? Wait, that's... That is fucking miles away. How is... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, wait, wait. This is... What? Wait, where am I now? Okay, I'm here. Where was... Wait, Brisbane is in Australia. What the fuck? I forgot about that. So what... Brisbane. I guess I have to go down there. But this is ridiculously far. Can I not just take a ship from here over? I need to get across the Pacific. Pacific is pretty goddamn huge. Um, Alright, we'll go down to Pyongyang because we're going there anyways, right? Oh, oh shit, we have to go now. Okay. Uh, we boarded a Chinese steam train at Karamskaya Station. It was a smooth journey until we, uh, until we reached uh, Zabaykalsk, where there was a change of gauge from the Russian to the Chinese rail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To relieve the tedium of waiting, I brought my master tea. I sang a few French songs. I attempted to better understand the mechanisms the engineers were using. All right, let's try and do that. Uh, they seemed to consist of hydraulic pumps intended to jump the train from one rail to the next, and I could not help but notice they were not stamped with an artificer seal. Hmm. Let's converse. Uh, Pyongyang. Chinese and Japanese vie for influence over Korea. Korea. Hmm. Yeah, I need to go south. I don't know where these places are. Ah, my, my geography is so bad. Lahore. Uh, let's just say that some buyers will ask, will pay better for fur coats. Huh. Oklahoma, Canada, Manila. You can get you can get to Manila from the from Pyongyang aboard the steam yet quiet Thunder, but the fare is expensive. Okay, Manila. Ah, okay. Hmm. Well, actually, that's really good. That's perfect. That's exactly what we needed. <laughs> Oh man, we're getting really lucky. Fair's expensive. Ah, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be, we're gonna be rolling in it. We're gonna be making it rain once we sell this gem. We restarted our journey a few hours later, uh, only for it to be yet again interrupted by Chinese customs officials at Manzuli. They were as brusque as the Russian officials. Clearly, the bonds of bureaucracy overrode those of nation. They stamped our papers with their square ivory seals, leaving a distinctive red cinnabar mark. Hmm. Transmanchurian, ah, not Siberian anymore, of course. Today we reached Mukden, uh, famed for King Imperial Palace. Alas, there was no time for exploration, for here our train divided, half going west to Pyongyang and the other half turning east to Beijing. Ah. Let's converse. I am at your service, Monsieur Fogg. Then is, is there something to matter? Our health journey. How will we cross the Pacific, Monsieur? There will be many options, but which one we will choose will decide our route across the Americas. I am in roaring health, but let's make haste. Very good. Ah, uh, yes. Oui, oui. I spent this day attending Monsieur Fogg, who had managed to find a week old English periodical, uh, which proposed a new fashion of tying one's cravat. I ventured that a gentleman must be a la mode. Traditional method was tried and true. I think he is a tried and true guy, isn't he? Monsieur Fogg considered my opinion thoughtfully, though he kept casting subtle pain glasses towards my own, assuredly fashionable apparel. apparel. Indeed. Indeed, he said at length. <laughs> Practiced the new cravat tying technique. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah! And a gentleman... Ah, oh, nice! I practiced a new cravat tying technique before bed. A gentleman's... Gentleman? Can never be... Come... Uh, can never be too prepared. Right, yeah, because maybe... Maybe he isn't that traditional. Maybe he does like to... Like, figure new things out. And, like, yeah, that's... Because he's, he's, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a pioneer, isn't he? Like, traveling across the world, so he must be open to new technology and ways of doing things. 
Not that try tying a cravat is cravat is new technology, but <laughs> we reach Pyongyang in the dark. Uh, I could see little of the platform, much less of the city. The soldiers guarding the station seemed nervous and unfed. Mm. Unfed. Wow. Uh, Monsieur Fogg uh, seemed not to notice the tension in the air, but I had a present, uh, presentiment, presentiment. Never seen that word. <laughs> Discovering many new words here. That's cool. Um, presentiment of unpleasantness. That would not leave me. My friends, I am not a superstitious man, but I felt a chill that night. We shared a carriage to our hotel with a group of talkative Protestant missionaries who blessed us at great and exhaustive length before we, were man before we managed to escape to our beds. As I drifted to sleep, I wondered that Pyongyang, uh, what Pyongyang would look like in the morning light. Yeah, we'll find out. The Western Star should earn us well here. Ah, oh, damn right, Monsieur Fogg. Oh my god, that's so good. Magnifying. Mm, nah. Safety harness. Heavy storm. Hmm, that sounds pretty useful actually. I think we need to get rid of a bunch of stuff now, for sure. Okay, wait. European shipping. We don't need this. A hammer? Nah. False passport. Uh, could, could, could do with that. Wait, oh fuck. What happened? Go back. Um, market. Let's see. Scarab. Yeah, that's still useful. Egyptian cigars. Luxury types. Yeah, could be useful. Ushanka. Nah. Don't need the Russian stuff anymore. Wait, do we have a complete set of this? Russian gentlemen's. Uh, where's the other Russian gentlemen's? Oh, that's that's pretty good. Um, it says our Russian gentleman's wardrobe set is complete, but what's the other part of the Russian gentleman's? Ah, right. Hmm. Nah, let's get rid of this stuff. We need to uh, lighten the load, I think. Heavy storm, yeah, we'll, we'll go for that, because we're going to be passing the Pacific. Crossing the Pacific, not passing. Um, hmm. Airship. Could be good, actually. Top hat. A gentleman traveler. Gentleman traveler. What was this for again? I've forgotten what the signed military papers were. <laughs> for region paraffin. Improve the speed of balloons. Oh, that's good for airships. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep that. Engineer set. Oh, it's useful too. But I like uh, San Francisco. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this that could be useful at some point. I really should get this, I feel like. Nah. Nah. No need. All right. We're, we're done here. Whoops! I keep clicking. I, if you, uh, uh, th it does that every time I right click. It just takes me out of everything and like, it's kind of crazy. All right, let's plan. Let's. We need to go. Well, yeah, Manila, right? Or it's Friday. Three hundred twenty. That's fine. Parts tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then from Manila. Wow, from Manila we don't really know what the hell's going. Well, we have to get to Batavia. And then we'll yeah, that's pretty good actually. I think I think this is good. All right, let's uh, sleep. All right, we'll leave it there, and we'll come back uh, next time. See ya.